is the model RCP 8500 BLC. It's a tube beating machine and it utilizes uh, segment sets to beat the tube. This unit has a, uh, a PLC system that we use for all automatic and manual sequences. We have uh, one switch that will rotate the tooling and that's rotated by air. We have another switch that will uh, manually uh, raise and lower uh, the uh, clamp cylinder and another switch that will uh, form the uh, the bead. This particular machine it will form uh, beads, three beads on a uh, connector for water lines or water hoses for rainbirds. We're looking at the clamp section and also the tooling. You can see the tooling is in four sections because the diameter is pretty small. We form in two strokes. The first stroke will uh, will make the bead but in four sections and then we uh, rotate the, uh, the tool and then form again and this irons out and makes an even bead all the way around the tube. This machine will form a bead in approximately four seconds. They can be faster if required. Okay, now we're looking at the air cylinder that will rotate the tool after we form with one stroke. We'll run the machine and form a part in just a few seconds. There's the tooling, and you can see the clamp dies as well. When the clamp closes, it surrounds the tube. The tool, ID tool will make the three beads. There's a better shot of it. This is the RCP hydraulic cylinder that is manufactured exclusively by AMH and it's used for many different uh, types of operations. The form cycle uh, with the uh, RCP is done with uh, hydraulic pressure. We use uh, hydraulic uh, cylinder to, to clamp the uh, tube inside the, uh, the clamp and there's about uh, maybe 15 tons of clamping pressure and when we form those clamps will not open because they're held with the PO check valve. Here's the hydraulics uh, solenoid valves. There's sufficient oil in the system to run uh, large quantities of production without any uh, any problem with overheating. It's a nice compact unit the, uh, the cycle is started with a foot pedal and again we'll, uh, we'll, we'll uh, go through a cycle so you can see how fast and how easy it is. When you hold the foot pedal down, you hold it down for the complete cycle. This unit has a, a seven and a half horsepower motor with a three gallon a minute pump. I'm sorry, a five uh, horsepower motor and a three gallon a minute pump. The system will operate at 5,000 psi. This particular unit can probably form up to uh, one and a half inch in diameter. We make them that can form up to six inches in diameter. It's a very unique system in that uh, when, uh, <coughs> when we have to position the gun to stick the tube, in, form the bead, and then take it out, it will automatically uh, raise the cylinder to allow the part to come out. Very compact unit, very few moving parts, very safe, very fast and efficient.
Okay, now we're gonna okay now we're gonna go through a dry run here just uh, just to cycle the machine so you can get an idea as to how the machine operates. I'm gonna zoom in here so we can get a, a good look at what takes place. Part has just been formed theoretically. We'll go through it one more time. Clamp closes, we expand, rotate the segment, expand, clamp opens, it's all over. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the back side of this here, and you'll see what takes place. Forms, cylinder, rotates the segment set, lifts up the thing, it's all over. Part formed. Okay, now uh, this, uh, this is going to uh, form the uh, three beads. Uh, at the end of the tube that will lock the tube on the uh, end of the uh, the male end of the uh, garden hose. So stick the part inside the tube, stick it inside the machine. Okay. Now we'll go through a cycle. We'll pull out the part. And there we have, we have formed three beads and there it is, it's locked in there. That'll never come apart. This whole operation takes approximately three to four seconds. Faster units can do it in maybe between one and a half to two seconds. This is another, but now we're gonna go through a manual cycle. He's got his hands on the, uh, on the clamp switch and now he's going to close the clamp. He's closing it manually. Close it. Open it, close it. Okay, now he's gonna operate the uh, form cylinder manually. And these are uh, uh, good features on this machine, so whenever you wanna do prototype, you'll be able to do that before you start the automatic cycle. Now, he's going to go through a cycle of expanding the, uh, the mandrel or expanding the segment set, so you'll see what takes place. Okay, now manually, he's going to, uh, to cycle the, uh, the tool. Back, forward, and you can see what's taking place there. Okay, okay now we're gonna be cycling the air cylinder so you can get an idea how that, uh, how that operates. You can do it manually or work on automatic. All those controls up in this panel are always set on automatic so that when you uh, run cycles, they're all automatically uh, in position. Now, we're going to come down here and just operate the tooling so you'll see what takes place there. Okay. Now he's rotating the tooling. This is another product designed and built by AMH. And uh, we're proud to say that our equipment is very uh, unique, simple. Uh, long productive life and we sell them all over the world with very little uh, maintenance problems. Thank you very much.